Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss a problem. So it's like a same as a previous problem, but we don't have any pole here. Pole at origin here. So first, we need to draw the Nyquist plot and check the stability. This is the question. So before that, first we need to draw the polar plot. So for this, if we draw the polar plot, you know, for frequency equal to zero, we have the magnitude directly is the 10 is the one or 10 is the magnitude we have and the phase is directly you know the zero is the phase and if frequency equal to infinite then the magnitude equal to zero and the phase it has minus 90 degrees okay so by using that concept we will draw the polar plot so this is the imaginary axis for the polar plot this is the real axis for the polar plot this is the real axis and this is the imaginary axis so look at here for 10 means maybe here I will take this is the 10 and this is the 10 phase is 0 and will at, it will end at 0 and minus 90 minus 90 means I will take this point so it start from omega equal 0 and at omega equal infinite that means it will move from this point to this point so I will take the direction is like this I will take direction is like this and after that what is the first point polar plot is drawn what is the second point draw the middle image of the polar plot so the middle image is like this the curve is flows like this so this is the mirror image of the polar plot this is the polar plot image and this is the mirror image of the polar plot okay so and we have here minus 1 plus j0 here this is the path minus 1 plus j0 is the origin point and we should find out so first write down the first write down a given open loop transfer function that is g h of s equal to 10 by s plus 1 and now we should find out the encirclements so what are the encirclements encirclements n equal to p minus so p plus minus z plus okay so here n is the encirclements generally and you know that the encirclements okay right what is p open loop transfer function poles in rh plane so open loop transfer function open loop poles in rh plane yeah so look at here is there any open loop pole here open loop pole is available but which side it has it has at right side not left side okay that's why the open loop poles is the zero open loop poles is the zero then what is the encirclements is there any encirclements regarding the minus one plus j zero there is no encirclement so whenever s power zero means there is no encirclement directly so 10 by s, s power zero into s plus one is the given problem directly we will tell there is a zero encirclement is zero otherwise look at here this is the minus one plus j zero it doesn't have any encirclements that's why here the n value is also encirclements also zero now we should find out p then so n equal to p plus minus z so here the encirclements is the zero and we know this is the zero and the z plus okay if you are finding the z plus then we will have the z plus is equals to zero so if you are finding the zero we have z plus is equals to zero what is this meaning z plus means generally what it what it told z plus means characteristic equation z plus means here characteristic equation 
zeros are another name is closed loop poles in rh plane closed loop poles in right hand side s plane what is z plus is directly we are getting zero whenever z plus is zero means the system is the stable system system is stable the next problem is here gh of s equal 10 by s square into s plus 2 s plus 1 draw the nyquist plot and check the stability first first point is you have to draw the polar plot so if you draw the polar plot for this the polar plot is approximately like this polar plot is approximately like this so start from here and end with this point start from here and end with this point this is the polar plot and second condition we need to go for the draw the Nyquist plot so before drawing the Nyquist plot first and for that look at here so by using this we should draw the Nyquist plot here directly we can draw here so generally it is start from omega equals 0 and it has the direction is like this and it is end with this point the direction is like this and after that it will move like this and it will move like this right and if you take this point is at this point and it will have we have to draw the replica replica means opposite of this opposite of this and and next we will draw we will draw draw like this and this is ending point and it will encirculates it should have some encirclements the encirclement is so it will continuing the path it flow through this and it will has to flow through this it will continuously flow and it is end with here and this direction will continuing so look at here initially start from here and end with here after that replica start from here end with here and this is also have start from here the end with here and the ending point is this point now start from here ending is this point now we have we have minus 1 plus j0 point is somewhere so this is the point minus 1 plus j0 minus 1 plus j0 this is the point so here for the Nyquist plot so we drawn polar plot so Nyquist plot also completed so if you observe the Nyquist plot here how many encirclements we have look at here this is the one encirclement and this is the two encirclements these two encirclements are clockwise two encirclements as clockwise that's why minus two the reason is these two are clockwise how look at here this is one path it is clockwise direction and this is another path this is also the clockwise direction so that's why encirclement is equal to minus two and any right hand poles open loop poles there is no right hand open loop poles these are two poles at zero this is the one pole and this is the one pole these all are left side poles so p plus e is the right hand side pole that is the zero and we need to find out the z plus we need to find out the z plus okay 
just apply n equal to p plus minus z plus here the n circulation is equal to minus 2 and p plus is the 0 z plus is like this so by using this we will get z plus equal to 2 so what it represents z plus equal to 2 means z plus what is z plus represents closed loop right hand poles it will represent closed loop right hand pole closed loop right hand poles how many we have two whenever closed loop poles right hand side is having the two poles then the system is 100% unstable system system is 100% unstable okay so this is the Nyquist plot to draw this further when two poles generally if, if you observe here s1 by s square so automatically n circle means must and should be two but the important is direction look at the direction these are clockwise or anti-clockwise so de definitely these are the clockwise that's why it has the n equal to minus two n equal to minus two so these are the some different models regarding the Nyquist plot okay I hope all of you understand this session. Thank you.